much, sir. That was uh, Mr. Jackson Mtembu, who is uh, the chief whip of the African National Party, uh, the, the majority party, of course, in uh, the National Assembly and in Parliament. Uh, let me quickly bring in now uh, uh, Reverend Kenneth Mishwe, who is uh, the leader of the African Christian Democratic Party, to give us his take as to the, uh, the events that took place this afternoon. Dr. Uh, Reverend Mishwe, uh, just initially your reactions to uh, the, uh, the, the election of Cyril Ramaphosa as President of the Republic. It was interesting to know that all political parties supported his nomination and election. When an opportunity was given by the Chief Justice to, for a further nomination, nobody uh, came with another name, meaning that all members of parliament, all leaders in, 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 in the National Assembly believe that if Mr. Ramaphosa is given an opportunity and also is helped, he can help turn the corner for South Africa. We are all concerned, obviously, about the morass that we're in, the corruption that South Africa is in, and uh, we are determined to help him to succeed, because if South Africa sings, we are going to sing together. But we want to see South Africa work, we want to see South Africa succeed, we want to see South Africa become a model among nations of the world world and also South Africa uh, defeat unemployment and joblessness. We want investment in South Africa and to do that corruption must become the number one enemy of Mr. Ramaphosa. We are going to remind him of that. If he, ca if he becomes ruthless with corruption, deal with corruption, deal with criminality and ensure that even in cabinet he uses his broom to sweep clean all those who are corrupt in cabinet, in parliament, that he does not fear any body, no fear or favor of anyone, then South Africa definitely will become a leader among nations of the world. We are a blessed country and we believe that with the right leadership and we want to give Ramaphosa the opportunity as opposition parties work with him for the sake of South Africa because we want our people, the poor people of South Africa, to have jobs and to be safe in their homes and safe in their streets. We believe he's the man that can help us do that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Reverend. Let